Hello everyone, welcome back to Toxic Terrors. I'm Catherine Chipier. And I'm Eric. Ugh, I'm not gonna say it, it's just gonna get bleeped in editing, isn't it? Since Mr. G is still in his unfortunate, uh, jellyfish coma, we, uh, have to do this video since, uh, unfortunately, uh, no one else can make these videos. He didn't have any more backup videos, and there's no TV shows on talking about it, so I guess we have to actually do this now. Luckily, though, this is actually a subject I do know quite a bit about. And it's a subject I have a passing interest in, so we'll be fine. Today, we'll be talking about the spider's second cousin, Scorpions. Not to be confused with the character from the arcade fighting game that no one remembers anymore. Eric, what are you talking about? Everyone knows what it is. No, they don't. How come I haven't seen anyone talk about it since the 90s? Where have you been these past few years? Uh, Canada? Eric, you've never set foot in Canada. Shut up! You don't know me! Scorpions refer to arachnids in the Scorpions order. They're arachnids, they're carnivores. Uh, their order was described in 1837 and they're found throughout the world except for polar regions. Why didn't you write that? Because that would have looked awkward. It already looks awkward. Shut up, Eric. Scorpions have a pretty iconic appearance. They look vaguely like lobsters at the front uh, with their pinchers, but unlike lobsters, they only have eight legs, like all arachnids, whereas uh, crustaceans have ten legs. And instead of that weird flipper tail thing, uh, they have a stinger. Yeah, they have a stinger, like bees. So hey, bee movie, when they were suing to have uh, stingers be considered an offensive term, scorpions could have sued them back, but no, apparently bees own the rights to stingers now. Eric, why are you ranting about a movie that's a dead meme? I don't know, that movie's just always ticked me off. Anyway, within scorpions, there are two main hunting methods. Larger scorpions, such as the emperor scorpion, will use their claws to tear their prey apart limb by limb and so that they can eat them, whereas smaller scorpions with thinner claws will uh, use their stinger to inject their prey with lethal venom, uh, paralyzing the prey so that the scorpion can feast. Well, if the smaller scorpions can't use their claws to tear their prey apart, why do they even have them? Eric... Haven't you ever heard of vestigial organs? Besides, I'm sure those smaller scorpions have a purpose for their claws, like uh, grabbing eggs that they can put on their back, as we'll discuss later. Yeah, but still, it's stupid. Why did nature give some scorpions large claws, but others are stuck with those useless little tweezers? Shut up, Eric! This sting is also their main defense mechanism, and the potency of the sting is actually dependent on the, s on the size of the scorpion. You see, scorpions that mostly hunt with their claws actually have pretty weak venom that can't affect most larger creatures besides uh, hurting them or maybe giving them a rash, possibly, something like that. While smaller scorpions with the thinner claws have more deadly venom capable of killing creatures way larger than them. Unfortunately, these uh, stings don't work on all animals, uh, some creatures are immune to their venom, and uh, some animals will pin down the scorpion's tail so they can't sting, leaving the scorpion defenseless so that the creature can eat them. You know, it's completely unfair. How come things like, uh, how come some creatures are immune to their venom but others aren't? I don't get it. Why do they need venom that potent? Eric, haven't you ever heard of some things that are called life mysteries? Eh. Fine, I'll give you that, but still, it's completely stupid. Another thing to note about scorpions is their unusually long uh, gestation period. You see, while most arthropods are stereotyped as having uh, pretty quick gestation cycles, allowing them to reproduce quickly, uh, scorpions, uh, they're pregnant for a while. Some scorpions can be pregnant for up to 18 months which is longer than both rhinos and hippos, and it puts them up there with elephants in terms of long gestations. Also, scorpions give live birth. Kind of. They have a method called a something, which means that they technically have eggs, but the eggs hatch inside the mother, so uh, she uh, ends up giving birth to the already hatched offspring. This is the same method that a lot of sharks have. Also, unlike other arthropods, scorpions are actually pretty good parents. Uh, after the babies are born, the mother puts the babies on their back where they stay with her until they're old enough to fend for themselves. Aww. Ah, uh, more like ew. Those look like little maggots. Eric, everyone knows arachnids don't have a maggot stage. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Bug Expert. Why are you so... why are you so contradictory today? Uh, I'm just kind of... 
I'm upset that Mr. G's gone. Well, let's just get through this video, okay? Fine. Now let's look at a lot of the cards we have to go through. Strap your butts in. Well, actually, despite what Eric just said, uh, I cannot personally find any errors on this card. Besides the fact that the fat-tailed scorpion uh, mixes up poison and venom again, so it gets a point deduction, so it gets a 9 out of 10. <sighs> yeah, they uh, did that a lot early on. But surprisingly, they got better later on, so there's that. But like I said, uh, with these cards, I personally cannot find any errors, but maybe some of you guys can. If uh, you spot anything, uh, please let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll be sure to thank you. So, thank you, I guess. Now let's get into human relations. Throughout history, scorpions have been a creature that uh, have been traditionally feared. Uh, you see, because of the scorpion's venom, they were known as very dangerous animals even early on in our history. And in Mesopotamian mythology, it was said that two uh, half-man, half-scorpions nearly wiped out the entire pantheon. More on that in uh, Monsters of the Mind, if you are interested. In addition, in Greek mythology, there was the story of Orion the Hunter, who was killed by a scorpion, and then they both ended up in the constellations, uh, with Orion uh, disappearing whenever Scorpius rises. In addition, Scorpius has become one of the twelve uh, zodiac signs. Known as Scorpio, it refers to anyone born between uh, late October and uh, late November. Scorpions are also a common sight in pop culture, or at least uh, their iconic tales are popular iconography. There's plenty of monsters that have scorpion tales, uh, you know, things like that, such as the manticore. So, yeah, there's that. Now, as for the modern day, uh, scorpions are still something people tend to be cautious about, especially in desert locations where the most dangerous scorpions live, such as the Death Stalker, which uh, is probably the coolest name for any animal ever, not gonna lie. But, despite their cool name, their name is also very fitting, since their stings are very deadly and capable of killing a human. I got stung by one of those things once, I, and then my brother had to suck the poison out of my butt. <laughs> I still make fun of him for that. It's, uh... <laughs> Eric, you realize sucking poison out is just a myth, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, but I wasn't gonna tell him that. <laughs> Sure, I ended up going to the hospital for, like, a while after that, but it was worth it! Eric, I'm concerned about you sometimes. Scorpions are also decently popular pets, although, quite obviously, they're the ones that aren't very deadly to humans, such as the Emperor Scorpion. They're relatively easy to take care of, they just need a hot place and some food. Eh, and maybe some compassion. Now... Some advice as to not uh, die from scorpions, be careful. Scorpions like to live in tight places like under rocks, so do not just go looking under rocks or put your hand into tight places, uh, so, uh, and uh, you'll most likely be fine. And make sure that your tent is bug free before you go to bed. So yeah, that's, that's most of the advice I have there. And if you are stung, seek medical attention immediately, like most poisonous animals. Actually, if you're attacked by an animal and it draws blood, seek attention immediately no matter what, because uh, regardless of their species or classification, that cannot be good. Well, that's all for this episode of Toxic Terrors. Next time, we're switching back over to uh, Strange Wonders. Yeah, that's the last thing. Hopefully, Mr. G will be up by then. This has been The Eric Show, signing off. What? The Eric Show? This is The Eric and Catherine Show. Eh, I don't listen to her. She's crazy. Crazy! Alright, you know what? That's it! Eric, what has been your problem today? You have been nothing! You have done nothing but contradict me by randomly inserting stupid lines into the video! What? It's funny! No, Law Random is the lowest form of comedy, and you should be ashamed of yourself! Oh, I should be ashamed of myself? At least I actually have personality. You have none. You are nothing. You are a waste of breath. You are probably the least popular character on this entire show. What? Yeah, I said it. You're probably even less popular than some of the stupid one-off characters that no one likes. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, you heard me.
Well, at least I don't do continually stupid stuff that ruins everything for everyone. You literally went out of your way to insult a creature that could tear you apart in seconds, and you possibly gave us away. Oh, 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 I guess it's my fault now. You're the one who found the stupid gem out of the underworld in the first place, even though Vincent specifically told you not to. Well, at least I actually do stuff for this series. When was the last time you ever did anything? You no good. Something, something, blah, blah, blah. Even your insults are garbage. Well, at least I actually have taste in movies. You like movies from a company that does nothing but make the same movie year after year. You take that back. No! Every single one of those movies is exactly the same. It's just about a bunch of whiny teens who blah blah blah, oh I'm so lonely, and then they get a girlfriend. The end. Eric? You, Eric, you better take that back right now. Oh, maybe it's the other studio, the one that just makes stupid movies about, oh, it's uh, something that's not a human. Oh, and now they're sad. Oh, someone died. The end. Eric? Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Huh? You know what? It's your fault that Mr. G got stung in the first place, because you're the one who wanted to go on this trip anyway. You were the one who proposed the idea in the first place! Oh, 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 so it's my fault now. Yes! Well, you know what? Maybe if you had stayed behind, Mr. G wouldn't have gone nuts and tried to come for us. So you're blaming this whole thing on me? Yes! You know what, Eric? I'll give you five seconds to live. Bring it!